Hey, what's up guys, this is Jamo. I'm excited to bring you another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you my subjective list of the top three best female Dominican volleyball players. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about their backstory and the, about their accomplishments in the national and club level. And yeah, and I'm gonna tell you this from number three to number one, which I consider to be the best. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first up on this list is Betania de la Cruz who she, she was born on May 13th, 1987. Uh, but Tania de la Cruz has been a, a staple for the Reinas del Caribe. In, two, in 2009 and 2019, she won the Norseca Championship. In 2008 and 2016, she helped lead her team to the championship victories in the Pan American Cup. At a club level, de la Cruz has played all over the world from countries such as Puerto Rico, Japan, Turkey, Indonesia, Russia, and the most recent, the United States. In Japan, she played for the Torre Arrows and won the league championship and, won, and was awarded in, individually as the best six. In 2011, she joined Crias de Caguas in Puerto Rico, where she won the league championship and also the most valuable player award. When I watch uh, Betania de la Cruz, I mean, seeing just her agility, seeing her power, but also just her agility and her finesse uh, as, as a player is, is really incredible. I think for me, I really enjoy just watching her because she brings such an energy and such an excitement and just such, such a power. Every time she jumps up, I, you feel like she's gonna, you know, bring the thunder with her spikes or, and also she's very good on the serve receive. You know, that's something that you know, a lot of people don't think about, but she is pretty talented in that area as well. So she's just an incredible player and, and very deserving to be on this list, I think. Up next is Brenda Castillo, who was born in San Cristobal on June 5th, 1992. Brenda Castillo helped her national team reach fifth place in the 2012 Olympics while being named the best libero of that tournament. In 2015, in the FIVB World Cup, she won best libero as well. She has won the 2008, 2010, 2014, and 2016 Pan American Cup. On a club level, she began her international career in 2011 at the position of Libro with the Puerto Rican team Crias de Caguas, where she accumulated statistics that made her the best Libro and the best digger. Her contribution to the team helped them become champions of the Puerto Rican National League. After that season, she left Puerto Rico to play in Azerbaijan, where she won three titles in a row from 2012 to 2015 uh, with Ra Rabitu Baku. Currently, she plays in Brazil's Superliga with Vale Bauru. Brenda Castillo, I mean, she's she's an incredible player for many reasons. I, also, kind of outside of just volleyball, I mean, obviously, she's just, you know, a beautiful woman. And she also always has, you know, these these very interesting, very fun uh, kind of hairstyles and, and colored braids and whatnot. So she always stands out. But when it comes to on the uh, just on the court and what she does, uh, I think that she can be described as just very bold, very brave. If there's a ball, if there's, uh, if she needs to dive for a ball, you know she's gonna do that. If she needs to uh, make a, a set, you know she's gonna do that. And just from what I see uh, watching, you know, she always seems like, uh, she seems like kind of like a communicator out there, like a leader, really. So to me, I think she just has the whole package as, as a Libro, so, cause I mean, that's what you want, someone who's bold, brave, courageous, go for any ball, you know, tell people where to go, tell people how to move, you know, and that's just what I see uh, and, uh, from her on the court. So she's another one who is, you know, just who just stands out because of, like I said, those other things like her, just her style, but and then also the, her play on the court, it just speaks for itself. Now, the queen of this list is Braylene Martinez, who was born in Santo Domingo on September 11th, 1996. In her short career so far, she has been a standout player for her national team. She has won gold twice at the Pan American Cup and won gold at the Pan American Games in 2019 in Lima. At the club level, she has played in countries such as Italy, Turkey, and Brazil, uh, and her own country, Dominican Republic. For the past two seasons, she has dominated the Brazilian Superliga. In the 2020-2021 season, her team, Praia Club, was league champion runner-ups. Now, when it comes to Braley Martinez, I really love uh, watching her. I, mean, I love watching all these players, but she is just really special because she just brings so much power to the game, so much force. I think she's like six seven, but yet she's six seven. But the way she moves and you know the way that she jumps, you know she 
just very, you know, just agile and just she, she has, you know, great movement, great flexibility for someone who's for someone who's that tall. And yeah, and like I said, when it comes to not only her spiking ability, which she brings it, you know, every time, but also just her ability to block and, and know where to be. And obviously, when you have a six seven body, I mean, obviously that that helps as well. Uh, but and then also what I love about her is, you know, you after the spikes or even after a, a, one of her teammates makes a great play, she always has a lot of energy. She always brings it with a celebration, and she really tries to get the crowd into it, especially when she plays for. Uh, well, even for the club level, but uh, especially when she plays for the national team, Dominican Republic, you really see that she tries to get the crowd involved, and, and then I think that's just, just that's just really special. Okay, guys, so that's my top three Dominican female volleyball player list. Um, if you disagree with this list or you think it should be in a different order, or you think somebody else should be on there, please feel free to write below. I would love to see what your list looks your list looks like. Um, and if you agree, you know, say congratulations, say hey, nice job. I appreciate that as well. <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you have a good one and peace.